Hello friends, Pastor Daniel Govea here and I am reviewing today a very, very beautiful Bible. It's the uh, New King James Large Print Thinline Reference Bible, Comfort Print by Thomas Nelson. You can see the features here. This is another one in the Premier Collection. So premium goatskin leather cover and mm -hmm, a very important uh, upgrade from the first in line premiere is the raised hubs. Uh, Smite soon, edge lined. So you can pause if you need to. Here's the uh, ISBN and also the retail price. Of course, you can get this for less. Actually, they go for way less. So I'll leave a link down below. It comes wrapped in this beautiful black paper like all the premieres come with a seal. So it's really, really nice. I love it. Of course, I couldn't resist buying this Bible because of this amazing brown goatskin. Look, it has this beautiful, beautiful grain to it. It's like a fine grain, but well pronounced. It's just amazing. It's perimeter stitched, as you can see. Very, very nicely done and um, you have raised hubs or raised ribs or whatever you want to call them but they're beautiful okay holy bible there and then new king james version and thomas nelson now this thing is really thin um, just like the first edition in black goatskin but to me the great advantage of this bible is that this goat skin is not as flexible this cover is thicker than the first edition this cover is super flexible it's so flexible that for me it almost feels like it's a little bit independent it's like a living organism um, just feels more premium to me the liner is also leather and it's amazing. I really like it. I, I love it because if I'm preaching and I want to hold the Bible in my hand, this won't fall so much from my hand, won't bend so much as the first edition. I have actually preached with this Bible and I loved it. Um, so yeah, so you see here the spine, it's very, very beautiful. The gilding is very, very nice as you can see. It's red under gold. The gold is very shiny. And the red is um, a very light red and it's beautiful. The yap is not, uh, they call it a generous yap. I don't think it's that generous, but yeah, you do have a nice little yap. That's what I call it. I don't need something bigger than this. Maybe just uh, a few millimeters more would be nice. And it's edge lined. The edge lining here on my copy is not very, very well executed in the upper part 
um, but uh, here down below it's a little bit better. So you have the gilt line and it's beautiful, nicely done. I can try to show you the corners too if my camera wants to focus. Yes, there you go, see? Okay, so then you open it up and you have this thick paper here and this Bible is presented to by on presentation page still in thick paper then title pages the Holy Bible the Holy Bible containing the Old and New Testaments New King James Thomas Nelson Ta -da. Um, this is 36 GSM paper if you are familiar with the premier collection you know what this paper is. Very good paper. I'll show you. I've underlined. No bleed through. Very, very good. So this is the information page. Table of contents. Ta-da. And preface. Very short preface. So a shorter preface than what you have in other New King James Bibles because hey, it's a thin line. We're saving space. <laughs> so the Old Testament and here you have the first book of Moses called Genesis so you have the book names in red and you have titles also subtitles in red very beautiful it is a paragraph format and to me I'll tell you the great flaw that I find in this Bible in exactly the first edition was exactly the same is that the verse numbers to me they don't, they don't stand out now of course it depends on what you want this Bible for if you want to use this Bible as a reader uh, the verse numbers will probably not matter much to you if you want to use this Bible to preach uh, give Bible studies and if you like to find Bible verses easily well this is going to be a little bit harder to find them when you're in the pulpit or talking someone and you're searching the passage I mean you can still find it I've given Bible studies with this Bible already I've preached with this Bible and you can find it of course but to me the the, the verse numbers are a little bit small they're not bold and they're very close to the text okay so I would like to have them like bold and a little bit more distant from the text and to me that would make this Bible nearly perfect <laughs> with the exception also of the uh, uh, space in the gutter. I would like to see a little bit more space in the gutter, just a little bit more. It has enough space. I mean, this won't hinder your reading, okay? But to me, I would prefer just a little bit more and just two or three millimeters more of margin space. To me, that would make this uh, my super Bible. For what I know, it doesn't have the complete reference system by Thomas Nelson, the 72,000 references, but it has a lot of references. You can see here you have overcast stitching. I think you can see that there. It is a black letter text, so no red letters for the New Testament. The poetry is centered and it's beautiful. The poetry in this Bible is just amazing. It's an 11 point Comfort print uh, designed by 2K Denmark. The letters and the Ten Commandments are indented. Here you go. Look how beautiful this is. Uh, so nice. Very, very beautiful. So here you have a letter. Look how it is indented and you can, you know, notice that Whoa, it's a letter. Just give me a little bit more boldness in the verse numbers. When you have poetry, they're like super visible because they're away from the text. When the verse uh, is starting a new paragraph, of course you can see it better. But when the verse is in the middle of the paragraph, yeah, to me it's not very visible. So you get to the end of the Old Testament and you have Malachi, fourth chapter. And then the New Testament, just one tile page, and that's it. New Testament, black letter. Oh, let me show you the ribbon. These ribbons are just so beautiful. So you have a brown one, and you have a red one, and you have a blue one. Light blue, baby blue, maybe, if you want to call it. And it's so beautiful. I mean, these ribbons, just because the ribbons, I think people are... Are super tempted to buy these new Bibles by Thomas Nelson. Look at look at this. 
they look so good. I, I mean, I'm not a ribbon freak, and I still think these ribbons are just killing it. Line matching, can't forget to say that. You have line matching in this Bible, and it's very consistent, and it's beautiful. The paper is very opaque. Oh, I promised you that I would show you underlining. I did preach on 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 8 through 23. And as you can see, I've used a bunch of different things here. I've used some marking gel highlighters and coloring pencils and microns and my Uni Lacubos and the paper took it super well. No problem at all. Okay, so you look at the other side of the page and you see there's something there, but um, the text is amazing, very readable and no bleed through. You come to the end of the New Testament. Okay, Revelation 22. Mm -hmm. And ta da! And you have a concordance. Not a huge concordance, but you have a nice concordance. And after the concordance, have a note regarding the type, which I really love this note. And you have the maps by Thomas Nelson. World of the Patriarchs, Exodus and Conquest of Canaan, Land of the Twelve Tribes, Kingdom of David and Solomon, Jesus' ministry, so oh, this is shiny paper, but not too shiny. That's how I describe Thomas Nelson's maps. <laughs> and uh, I love them. They're, they're beautiful. And, and this brown just matches, the, this light brown just matches the cover. It's so beautiful. And Jerusalem in the time of Jesus. I have this paper here. And you have the end of the Bible. So. Amazing Bible. Those two little things that bother me will probably prevent me from making this my main Bible, I think. If uh, if I compare these verse numbers to the verse numbers in the uh, Schuyler um, 28 GSM, New King James, you know, I mean, it's also a paragraph format. It's not verse by verse, but the verses stand out because they're bold. Look at that. And they're, um, they're more distant from the text, you know? So I love that. The thing is with, with the Skylar is that I'm having a hard time with the 28 GSM. Really to flip the pages, ah, I don't like it too much. But the 36 GSM is just, of this Bible, of the Premier, is just amazing. It's super easy to turn. What else? I can just maybe put it here besides the a uh, little bit more bulky cousin which is the verse by verse by Thomas Nelson in black goatskin so you see the size um, comparison here of course the uh, verse by verse is a Bible that is a little bit heavier and it's not a thin line and yeah this uh, completely satisfies me in terms of the verse numbers because they're in a different color and because um, they're it's a verse by verse okay so very very easy to find the thing for me with this Bible is that um, the cover is so soft that look I holding it in my hand it really bends a lot when I want to preach and yeah it's a little bit more bulky it's even thicker than the 28 GSM by Skyler and the goatskin in the Skyler is is thicker uh, it's not as flexible yeah I prefer covers that are not as flexible that's why I am so excited about this cover it's a beautiful cover awesome cover uh, Thomas Nelson if you're hearing this please give us something with a little bit more sp margin space and a little bit more gutter space and a little bit uh, more visible verse numbers 
and you will make me happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hear there's a wide margin coming, and I'm so excited for that. Can't wait. I would even say that if this Bible could have, I mean, like two or three more millimeters or four, and just have those little alterations. Of course, this is just my opinion. For many people, these things that I don't like about this Bible, they actually love it and they prefer it that way. So if that's your case, my friend, this is a Bible for you. I mean, it's an investment, but it is a very good investment. I think this Bible will last you for years. The font is very readable. So yeah, if you can buy it, my friend, I think it is worth every penny. So, God bless you, my friend, and whatever Bible you read, read it with faith, with prayer, allow Jesus to speak to your heart, and be blessed. Thank you for watching. If you can subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Um, if not, that's okay too. And see you on my next video. Bye!